Have you ever saw this hyper casual stucker games and you wanted to create one too? Well, you can, and it's quite simple. Right now, all we have is a basic character with some movement and object that we want to collect. We need to add to our scene an empty game object to use as a parent to the player and everything the players collect. Move the player control script from the player to the parent and copy the collider and the rigid body components. Don't be like me and don't forget to set the collider to trigger. Now we can create a new script to help us collect the objects. Create an onTrigger function that will be called when the parent's trigger will hit an object. We don't want to collect all the objects that we hit, so we start by checking if the tag of the object is stackable. And if it is, we want to do two things. First of all, jump the player up. Second of all, collect the object and put it below the player. For us to make the player jump, we are going to need reference to the player transform and a variable for the jump height. Get the position of the player, change the y value according to the jump height and set the player's position to the new position. If you know how to, you can use rigidbody.add force, but I just think this one looks a bit better. To collect the object, we first want to store the object transform and then right away change its tag to untagged. That way we won't be able to hit the same object twice. Then we will put this object to the child of our parent object and set its location. The position on the x and the z is gonna be 0, but on the y is gonna be the number of the objects we have in the stack times the height of the objects. In this example, I have objects with height of 0.3, so the first object will be at 0, the second one will be at 0.1, and the third gonna be on 0.6, and so on. Every time we collect an object, we're gonna need to be adding 1 to our stack count. And if we're gonna lose one later, we're gonna subtract one from the count. Now we are done with the script, just copy the stackable tag and create a new tag in Unity, and set the object tag to stackable. I also recommend in all the objects freezing the position and rotation in the frigid body component. Attach our script to the parent game object and link the player to the player's variable. Press play and it works. But wait, our player isn't falling from the sides. If you want to know how to do this, click here. And if you want to learn other mechanics from games, just let me know which one. See you in the comments. Bye!